Oh, this was quite the journey. Somos is a new Netflix limited series that tells a story that's not a happy one. So knowing that going in, is it gonna be worth checking out? Based on the article titled Anatomy of a Massacre, How the U.S. Triggered a Massacre in Mexico, Somos recreates the stories of the people of the small town of Allende in the days leading up to a shocking massacre and tells the story of the drug wars from the victim's perspective. This limited series gives voice to those whose lives were changed forever when without warning the town was struck by a tragedy triggered by a DEA operation gone wrong. Now the series starts off with a fairly violent and crazy scene, and then takes us back three months to allow us to see what led up to it. This limited series is made up of six episodes, with most episodes around the 45-ish minute mark. This is a slow burn too, that really takes its time to give us the feel for the town and the people of Allende. Now some of the characters that we follow are Paquito, a young man who's skilled at fixing things, but he can't really seem to find any regular work. He has a young wife and baby, and his mother-in-law is a food vendor who is one of those people that is very observant. She's often in spots where she sees plenty of shady things going down. We also follow Benjamin, the son of a rancher who has mounting debts and a penchant for just hanging around with the wrong crowd. Hector is a kind of mid-level thug who has some sort of dealings with the cartel. He has his hand in just about everything that goes on in Allende, but he's certainly not the top dog. Now the story also follows several high school students, Nancy, Tom, Armando, and Samuel. And we watch the angst and drama that surrounds them, and at times it really feels almost unnecessary that we're watching these characters in particular. And that's kind of the feeling I got through a lot of this show. We watch many characters just going about their lives. We see their struggles, their flaws, their relationships, and even sometimes their conflicts. Now, I wasn't sure where all these storylines were leading, but that's kind of the beauty also of this series. Through the first five episodes, we're getting a ton of character development. It does feel a little odd at times though, because it's not really clear why we're watching these characters. They have interesting characteristics, and some of them become pretty sympathetic, but when we don't know the end goal, it does take some patience to watch all of this play out. Now, I found myself incredibly invested in so many of the people, even though I'm watching many of them just go about their daily lives. And you can feel mounting tension as drama as the time goes on. I mean, we're not just watching the townspeople, but we're also seeing the shadier side of everything going on there too. And although much of the cartel is vague, we can still feel the danger that is mounting. Now, one thing that really weakened the series is when the show would focus on the American DEA agents. There wasn't a massive amount of time spent on them, but when these portions were going on, they required so much patience to watch. The acting is just wildly stiff and unnatural, and I'm not sure if it's just bad acting or poor writing or an unfortunate combo of both. But when these scenes were going on, it was beyond cringeworthy and it made me want to fast forward. But I also didn't because I didn't want to miss out on any of the details. As the story goes along, there's an anxiety that is being built. We know that some terrible things are on the horizon, and that's not just because of that opening scene in episode one. The behaviors of the cartel lend themselves to uneasy feelings, and there's just this underlying sense of dread that builds. The drama does a good job of crafting a story that is interesting and compelling, but still allows itself to be patient in the ways it lays everything out. And by the time we reach the final episode, there is certainly a payoff to everything that we have been watching. I mean, in a sense, it's a terrifying premise as we watch events unfold. As I was watching one point, it reminded me just a little bit of a scene in Black Hawk Down, where we watch just a massive amount of heavily armed people charging down the streets toward the chopper. I mean, that was just a daunting visual. And this series had a portion that gave me the same feel. The series is also one of sadness and hopelessness. We're not really left with a happy or contented feeling. The closing scene may mean to instill a small amount of hope, but I think the melancholy outweighs any positivity. And like I said at the beginning, this is based on an investigative news article. This really shows the shortcomings of the American DEA and how their actions directly resulted in a massive tragedy. And while the individual stories may take some liberties or inferences, the overall story is based on fact and it gives us a compelling and disturbing account. I really like that we are watching the story from the perspective of the townspeople and not really from the cartel point of view. We get to see the human element, those that are unsuspecting and uninvolved in the trafficking, violence, and everything else the cartel is responsible for. I do wish that we would have spent some more time with certain characters because they felt like they could have had just an even larger emotional impact on us with more focus. 
And the show gives us some really beautiful landscapes as we see daunting mountains and vast plains. And even the town, as run down as some of it is, it retains a beauty through innocence and authenticity. And the cinematography is great as well. When a scene requires us to feel or understand that scale of an area or a situation, the camera gives us some just beautifully wide shots. And then when we need to have some intimate moments with the characters to, you know, either be sucked into a conversation or to see the welling emotion in them, the camera is right there to give us the detail, putting us right in the scene as a close observer. The overall storytelling is very engaging and uses the strength of the characters to suck us right into the narrative. And I like that while this was a very dramatic series, I didn't feel any melodrama or overblown scenes that detract from the storytelling. I mean, aside from those DEA moments. The slower pace worked well to build out characters and give us ones to connect with. And despite the slower pace, the suspense and anxiety steadily built throughout, leading to an exciting and really terrifying climax. Now you should know going in that once you finish, you're probably going to want to watch something lighter and happier, but this is certainly a show that shouldn't be missed. There's sex, maybe some very brief nudity, a lot of profanity, and a bunch of absolutely brutal violence. I give Somos 4 out of 5 couches. So what's a good drama you've seen lately? Let me know what you're watching in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.